So Joe Biden and his people, they've got to be afraid because more and more people as time goes by are realizing that this individual is a real threat to Social Security. In fact, there's a video on Twitter that now has more than a million views where it shows him in the 90s not just admitting that he suggested cuts to Social Security, but basically bragging about it. So he knows that he's got to do damage control. He's got to come up with some type of response. And just this Saturday, I had a video where we played a clip of Joe Biden saying on numerous occasions that we either have to cut Social Security or make adjustments to Social Security, which is code for cuts. And we'll get to that. But he did finally respond to people becoming aware of the fact that he is a threat to Social Security. And he responded informally at an event when he was asked about it. And rather than just like owning it and saying, yeah, I said that, but I don't necessarily agree with it now, he is choosing to play the blame game. And he is trying to counterpunch by lying, brazenly so, about Bernie Sanders and his people. Rather than owning the fact that he has said multiple times that we should cut Social Security, he's now accusing Sanders of doctoring a video of him where he agrees with Paul Ryan that we should, in fact, cut Social Security. Take a look. You know, I've had phone calls of people asking me, what do you take about, does it concern you? What do you take about Joe's stance about what's going to happen to Social Security? So I'm going to ask you, what is your stance on Social Security? Well, my stance on Social Security is, let's get the record straight. I'm not going to blame anybody, but, well, let me just say the facts. There, there's a little doctored video going around saying that put out by should I just anyway put out by one one of Bernie's people no I'm serious and I don't know if my staff has that video here but uh, saying that I agreed with Paul Ryan the former vice presidential candidate about wanting to privatize social security it is and, and PolitiFax looked at it and they they doctored the photo, they doctored the piece, and it's acknowledged that it's a fake. And so what we're doing is we're putting out what the actual exchange between Paul Ryan and I were, and I have been a gigantic supporter of Social Security from the beginning. That was embarrassing, and he's brazenly lying. Like, this is a Trump-level lie. We have you on video saying that you want to cut Social Security, and he only cites that one video that he claims was doctored, and first and foremost, it was not doctored, and you can't even really argue that it was taken out of context, because we have the full context. It's just that Joe Biden isn't the clearest speaker, so if you watch that video, it seems like he's agreeing with Paul Ryan. I think you can make that case, since he has previously advocated that he wants to cut Social Security. But the idea was that, well, you know, he doesn't actually believe what Paul Ryan says when he says we should cut Social Security. He was mocking Paul Ryan, essentially. However, in that same video that he claims was doctored, he still says we need to adjust Social Security. Now, the PolitiFact article that he referenced doesn't actually say that the video was doctored, so he's being disingenuous about that. But they also say that he wasn't necessarily agreeing with Paul Ryan so much as he was mocking Paul Ryan. And look, let's just assume that that's true. Let's assume that Joe Biden wasn't saying that Paul Ryan is right to float cuts to Social Security. Fine. But in that same video, he does suggest that we have to cut Social Security by adjusting it. Watch very closely. Once again, those at the very top get the biggest breaks. And what, we, what do we have to show for it? Even our Republican friends are now beginning to admit there's no evidence these, these, these tax cuts are being put to work in the economy. No new growth, just more debt. And that puts middle class programs that they rely on and they've worked for at real risk. Paul Ryan was correct. When he did the tax code, what's the first thing he decided we had to go after? Social Security and Medicare. Now, we need to do something about Social Security and Medicare. That's the only way you can find room to pay for it. I don't know a whole lot of people in the top one-tenth of one percent or the top one percent are relying on Social Security when they retire. I don't know a lot of them. Maybe you guys do. Do we need a pro-growth progressive tax code that treats workers as job creators as well, not just investors, that gets rid of unprotective loopholes like stepped-up basis, and it raises enough revenue to make sure that the Social Security and Medicare can stay, still needs adjustments, 
but can stay. It still needs adjustments. Now, maybe we can interpret that in a more charitable way and suggest he is assuming lifting the cap on taxable income when it comes to Social Security. But if we're being realists here, and we take into consideration the fact that for 40 years he has floated cuts to Social Security, then I'm assuming he wants to do cuts to Social Security. And if he's someone who's truly a proponent of Social Security and protecting it and expanding it, don't you think that more frequently he would talk about lifting the cap on taxable income? Yeah. So I'm sorry, nobody believes Joe Biden when he says that he wants to protect Social Security over and over again. He talks about needing to make adjustments and Americans know that we have to make some hard decisions and yet he cries victim and says that Bernie Sanders doctored this video and his team doctored this video when he's busted. No, actually, you're busted. And for those of you who are wondering why we take the word adjustment as a synonym for cuts is because historically that is how politicians slimily describe cutting Social Security. As Social Security Works put it on Twitter, politicians only use euphemisms like adjustments when they really mean cut. There's no reason to use euphemisms to talk about protecting and expanding Social Security because that's incredibly popular. And what Joe Biden is trying to do, sneakily so, but it's pretty transparent, is hide behind that one video right he wants to claim that that video was doctored he's being you know misinterpreted it's, it's being taken out of context but that's one video of multiple videos where he talks about wanting to cut social security so he can try to hide behind that video and use it as some type of a red herring but there are other videos where he is very clear that he was in favor of cutting social security his own words are self-incriminating enough right because even msnbc played the video that is now being circulated everywhere. And he wouldn't dare discredit the prestigious liberal network that is MSNBC, would he? Take a look. What he does seem to be saying and talking about, uh, specifically when it comes to targeting Biden as well, is spending cuts, playing a video from the 90s, from 1995 of Joe Biden on the floor of uh, the Senate. They're talking about those spending cuts. Take a listen first. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans. Benefit. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. All right, he's really coming after him now. Gary, what does the Biden camp do at this point? So now the question is, will he be willing to accuse MSNBC of doctoring videos as well? Again, time after time after time, throughout the course of his career, he has been very explicit in saying we need to cut Social Security. And when the Democratic Party has tried multiple times to cut Social Security, Clinton tried this, Obama and Biden tried this, but Bernie Sanders thankfully stopped them, we have absolutely no reason to trust Joe Biden. It's why he uses doublespeak to talk about Social Security. Oh, well, you know, it's a great program. We have to make sure that it remains for generations to come, although it does need some adjustments. Well, what does that mean? There's no reason to not be clear in what you mean by adjustments unless you mean cuts. There's a reason why when Bernie Sanders talks about Social Security, he is very clear in saying we need to expand Social Security because this is a popular program and you're only going to get backlash when you talk about cutting it which is why politicians, both Republicans and Democrats, know they can't just come out and say we should cut Social Security. They have to tap dance around it because they don't want criticism. Now, Joe Biden is stupid enough to have gone on the record multiple times saying, I floated cutting Social Security. But the problem is that the internet exists to the chagrin of Joe Biden and um, we have the receipts. You don't. So you can come up with these types of Trumpian lies and say that Bernie Sanders' team uh, doctored this footage. But you're lying. And we know that you're lying. So to make such a bombastic claim that Sanders' team doctored this footage, I mean, it shows you how embarrassed he is of his own record, that he would make up that big of a lie. But it's embarrassing. Nobody believes this. Not a single person in media believes that Bernie Sanders' team doctored this footage. So what people need to realize, what older Biden supporters need to realize who depend on Social Security, is that if you elect this individual, you are rolling the dice with your livelihood. Because when him and Obama were in the White House, 
they tried to cut Social Security. And that is something that we cannot let stand. So he's trying to run away from his record, but you can't run away from reality. We have the videotapes, we have the receipts, and all he has are lies that are easily disprovable. So disprovable that even the mainstream media can't run with it because they would lose all credibility. What little credibility that they have left because your lie is so shameless.